this is Josh and Andrew, Redbeard Brew Blog, getting ready to set up our very first brew ever. We're here in Andrew's kitchen. Uh, got all the equipment set up here, all of our ingredients laid out on the table over there, and uh, just read over some of the recipe again, trying to get it all in our heads before we tackle this. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'm ready to get to work. It smells a little bit like oak sawdust, honestly. Says the woodworker. Yeah, it says the carpenter. So there's that. Can mm -hmm. give it a shot? Yeah. yeah, it's like a, uh, that's like seventh grade bread. There you, go. Seven there grade you bread. go. Yep. Cereal. Cereal? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like little grape nuts. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. It does taste an awful lot like awesome. cream. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Cool. I like that. Well, okay, we're done brewing. We're just going to eat this now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Beginning of brew. We have our grain bag. Our wonderful, wonderful grain bag. Going into the water. Steep down in there. And then we're going to, oh, there it goes. Look at that release. Yep. We're going to uh, bring the water up to a 175 after which we will let it sit and boil for 10 minutes. All right, while well, Andrew is waking up his oldest from a nap right now, uh, we've got our steep going here with our grain bag in it. And we are sitting at 140 degrees currently, waiting for it to get up to 175. And it seriously smells like a bowl of grape nuts, uh, making me a little bit hungry. How's the, uh, how's it looking in there? Looks great. Right now it looks like it's a little bit of a darker brew. Um, yeah. We're just at 171 degrees, waiting for it to go up the last few degrees before we, uh, before we, uh, sparch and add our malt. So yeah, it's coming along. We got 172, 173. That's it. 174. All right. So we're going to turn the heat down now and let it sit at 175. 10 minutes before we sparge, which is a step we're adding to the recipe. So now we are going to sparge. Okay. So sparging is where we're going to pour new hot water in order to try to draw as much of the sugars out of this bag as possible. Okay, we've got our uh, liquid malt here that we're about to add, and uh, we're just going to have a little taste of it first to see what it's like. I suggest it uh, online so that you start to associate flavors of tree. Uh, ingredients to the flavors that you'll be tasting at the end because your body will naturally start to realize oh hey that was in this case a grease bag 60L like that. All right okay. it's thick. Yes it is. Black. I'm just gonna take a little off the top here. It's delicious. Yeah, it's like a molasses with a little bit more bitter. Yep. Than a molasses. It is. But it is a molasses. It is a molasses. Yeah. So I'm going to start putting this on my, on my toast. <laughs> Just pure liquid malt extract. Oh, yeah. Here we go. So had we not put this in the hot water first, this would have been just like, would have taken forever. Yes. Slow as molasses. In this case, malt extract. We're going to use that from now on. Uh, and you're moving slow as malt, malt extract. Good bunch of out, so I'm just gonna grab some of this. I'll take care of the stirring here in a second. Trying to get all that extract out of the container. Uh, so we're adding the dry malt extract here, and um, I already poured one bag in and it ended up clumping at the top quite a bit because uh, uh, I poured it all in really quickly. Um, and I don't know if we should try to avoid that or not, but I'm going to try to avoid that this time. So I'm trying to pour it in a little bit more slowly, keep it from clumping up so much. Open up our, uh, our hops here and have a little sniff of it, maybe a little taste. Centennial. Uh, yep. Get that. That's gonna have a good bitter to it. You can smell it. 
10.6. Yeah, I can smell it over here. Yeah, right? Oh, those pellets are whole. Are pellets. Whole They're pellets. Oh, man. Yeah, you want to have a sniff of that? Yeah. All right. Wow. Yeah, all right. You take a deep enough whiff, it almost makes you pass out. <laughs> a little bit of chamomile to it. Okay. And lime. Lime. Definitely lime. A little bit citrusy, maybe. One other thing I can't quite place. We added the uh, one half ounce of Centennial. We'll be adding a full ounce at 10 minutes uh, in about 50 minutes from now. And we're still debating whether we're going to add that last bit for uh, flavor. I think we'll probably wait until we can get a, a scent of it. Yeah. Yeah. It smells so good. Oh my goodness. It smells like something I could drink right now, you know? I know. It just smells so good. All right, we got a, we're gonna taste our wort here. Uh, what is wort? Wort being uh, an unfermented beer. So we haven't added any yeast or anything. We're actually still working on our boil here, but it smells so good. I just, I have to taste it a little bit just to see what it's like. And then it's really delicious. Um, it's interesting because you're tasting the skeleton of your eventual brew here. Uh, so all of the elements are there, except for the actual alcohol content. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how this changes as we add uh, the last couple of ingredients and get it into the uh, fermenting stage. All right, we finished. Uh, we did not add the hops as we thought we might at the very end. Uh, we put it in a sink full of cold water, and then we slowly added ice to the side and replaced the water on the side. Now we're whirlpooling it. Highly, highly uh, scientific form of cooling things. <laughs> we're trying to very quickly cool it down to 85 degrees, probably as soon as the uh, ice melts around it. We will start running more cold water in this. So I'm going to test the gravity now. So what we've got is uh, plastic it came with. So it's going to pour it in there. We already tested it on water, so it does indeed work. I think we have got our color right on uh, from the sample that we're supposed to get. So we need about a nice red brown. So I decided to put it in and spin it. Boy, you couldn't have filled that more perfectly. Hopefully we're not too high. What is it? <laughs> 1.09. Okay. What's well, I think our goal was 1.05. Oh, so okay. We're a little high. All right, we're here in my basement. Uh, it has passed the 48 hour mark, and we're gonna test the gravity uh, because we want to. And see how it's going. How's the smell? It smells good. Smell like beer yet? No, uh, it's getting close. It's getting... It's, it smells like it's fermented at least a little bit now. So I guess we'll see. All right. So we filled our that bit. Are we using the Did we spin too? So we're right about 1.9. Is that correct? 1.030 right now. 